of growing into your sofa? Does your online meeting lack a bit of flair? Why not spice up your party with our clever game ideas? With our simple and easy to make activities, no one will be left unamused. Oof, Emily, watch where you're going. Wow, that's one party full of party poopers. These office walls just can't contain your excitement, can they guys? Even the birthday boy would rather be anywhere else but here. Oh, come on there, guys. It can't be that bad. Wait a second there. Pencils? Sweets? Emily has an idea how to take off his games to a new level. Take two pencils and tie them firmly on one side with a piece of string. Do the same on the other side. You just made a candy elevator. Hang the strings on your ears and put the candies on the pencils. Pull it upwards and eat it all to win. Though the candies are a reward themselves, aren't they? All set, guys? Ready, steady, go! Who will be the first to claim this epic prize? Emma, you're out. Hurrying is not always the best solution. Oh no, just Lucas is left. Go, 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 go. One more left and... Yeah! Birthday boy is the winner. Wow, you really got the party going there, Emily. What other tricks do you have up your sleeve? Hi, Madison, Lucas. What's going on? Oh dear, meeting friends in a bar, yet their minds are still in virtual reality. Bowling, eh? Nothing like a trendy app to keep your pals away from all their troubles. You know what kind of looks like a bowling pin? Let's get back to living in the moment without losing on the fun. Set up two rows of water bottles. The game is called Water Bottle Bowling. You will still need two sets of tights and a lemon for each player. Put the tights on your head. You're looking pretty dashing. Hands behind your back. Take down all the bottles to win. Ready for action, Lucas? How about you, Madison? Let's get swinging. Go! In this game, you need to be fast, precise, and watch out not to tip your opponent's bottles. Wow, Madison, you're really good at this. Party games seem like a breeze for you. Awesome, let's see what else we have in store. Oh, hello there, handsome. Come on in, you're already late for the party. Hey, everyone. What are you laughing at? After all, it is Jacob's house. You got some Cheetos, Lucas? Then you know what that means. It's time to take on the hair cap challenge. Let's do this. Get your shower cap on, Cheeto head. Come over here and let Jacob spray it with some shaving cream. Divide yourself into two teams and throw Cheetos towards your player. The one with the most Cheetos on their head wins. That sounds like a great party challenge. Let's do it. This is gonna get epic. Jessica, set your timer to one minute. And go! Ladies and gentlemen, who will win the final prize of this task? Both teams are giving their 100%, maybe even an extra 20. What's more important, amount or precision? Don't think too much about it, time is running out. Three, two, one, stop. Halt all your Cheeto tossing. It's time to find out the final score. Don't miss a single one, girls. It may be crucial to the count. 46. Oh, you guys only got 20. Better luck next time. Our winners will enjoy this full pack of Cheetos, while Emily will check out what else is there to do. 
Hello, dear ladies. What do you have for us today? Some tea. Ah, that's a bit boring. Where's the Mad Hatter when you need him? Oh, Emily, does this remind you of something? Let's try to make use of those dangly bits. Take a baseball cap, put one tea bag on the left side and one on the right side of the brim. Just a piece of tape will do. Are you ready? Let's play tea party. Your goal is to put both bags on the cap by just wobbling your head. First player to land both tea bags wins. Hats on, girls. It's time to get a little crazy. Ready? Go! Wow, if we didn't know any better, we would think the girls are just very much into some early 2000s heavy metal. So much excitement! We can barely handle the heat! And victory goes to... Victoria! Hooray! Thank you, Emily, for turning that boring tea party into an energizing wonderland. What's that? Watching some televised football game? Even the reruns are worth revisiting now. What's that, Adam? Do you have an idea how to shake things up? Take an elastic band and sew the ends together. Attach a step counter. This is, well you guessed it, the step counter game. Put the elastic band on your head and reset the count. Set a timer to one minute and try to take as many steps as possible. Just don't get too dizzy, of course. Play with your friends. The one with the most steps wins. This is getting intense. All our contestants are bursting with competitive spirit. Reset, get ready. Steady, shake it. Each of the players presents a different technique. Which will be the one to score the most points? Three, two, one, stop! Let's check who's won. Pretty good, Adam. Wow, that's even better. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a clear winner. Jessica, you rocked your head all the way to the first place. Sugar, spice, and everything nice. All these ingredients plus Chemical X were chosen to create the perfect thumbs up. So don't forget to smash that like button, Crafty Pandas. Subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below. Lucas is throwing a magic party to show off all his cool card tricks. But the girls are a bit fed up with the same is this your card set up for the 15th time in a row. Emily's seen it all already. But you know what this reminds her of? Do you remember that old circus trick with knives? How about flinging your cards at those soft watermelons? Holy entertainment, Batman. Come on, girls. Let's divide in two groups and play the card throwing game. The point of this fun activity is to make as many cards stick to the watermelon as possible. No picking up the ones you threw already. Once the deck is out, you're done. Let's count it. Emily has four, while Emma has five. We didn't know you were so good at this, girl. Maybe it's your hidden talent. Some people come to the school library to study. Some are here to just relax a bit. Almost, almost. Ah, what is wrong with this thing? So much for relaxation. Did you expect to have a proper environment for gaming in the school library? Really? No smashing the school equipment today. Grab a piece of fabric of your choice. I'm pretty sure you've got an overuse cork placement somewhere. Cover it with glue. Let's hide the whole surface of it. This is where our cloth shows up. Let's fix it up on the other side as well using hot glue. Fold and attach the edges just like that. Brilliant! Get your mouse a comfy surface. Instead of an overly smooth tabletop, Let's get those smooth victories. Oh, that's a difficult one. Only 
the true mouse guru will be able to- <gasps> What? There's still a way to go, isn't there, Emily? Well, at least the break time was way more enjoyable. Tick, tack, ah, Emma won again. Let's face it, Emily, strategic thinking is not one of your strongest traits. You ran out of paper already. Better not let the teachers see that doodly mess. Emma has another one to spare, but Emily just thought of something more reusable. Let's not waste more paper. After all, it comes from trees. Glue a big tic-tac-toe board to the cover of your notebook. Add some X's and O's at the bottom. Instead of a pen, use some colorful paper clips. Left, right, middle, yes! This time, victory belongs to Emily. Now simply put the paper clips on the cover and use the notebook as you normally would. No more messy pages. Hey Crafty Pandas, I hope you enjoyed these life hacks. Let us know which of them you're gonna use next in the comments down below. If you wanna learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.